Tony Hughes was one of the 17 victims killed and butchered by infamous U.S. serial murderer Jeffrey Dahmer. Stir. The Jeffrey Dahmer Story, a brand new Netflix limited series that details the horrific crimes committed by infamous American serial killer Jeffrey Dahmer, also sheds light on his long forgotten victims by telling their own life stories. The 31 year life olds and death were portrayed in the most recent drama on Netflix, Monster, The Jeffrey Dahmer Story. Jeffrey's victims, Tony Hughes, who was deaf and could not speak, has now been given the chance to share his tale. The sixth episode of the series centers on Tony Hughes and his friendship with Jeffrey Dahmer. It centers on Tony, a character portrayed in the show by Rodney Burford, and investigates Tony's relationships with Jeffrey Dahmer and his eventual death. Anthony Tony Hughes was born on August 26, 1959, per FBI records. According to The Sun, he permanently lost his hearing capacity. Due to the negative effects of various medications administered to him as a child, he was a baby and an adult at the same time. Johnson School for the Deaf is where Tony obtained his diploma, according to Gallaudet University. Shirley Hughes, Tony's mother, described her son as outgoing, jovial, happy, and stated that he could easily make friends. In order to attend college and seek a career as a model in the fashion industry, Hughes moved to Madison and pursued his career in modeling. The Netflix film claimed that due to his disability, he struggled greatly to find employment. Nevertheless, he soon got a job at a clothes store where he could communicate with his boss using sign language. Hughes was recognized as gay and frequented lesbian and gay establishments. How did Tony meet Jeffrey? It is said that the two met in a gay pub. In the LGBT bar where they first met, Tony reportedly engaged clients by writing on a notepad. He had spoken with his murderer, Jeffrey Dahmer, using the same means of contact. Tony was in Madison visiting family, and on May 24, 1991, they went dancing at a gay bar in Milwaukee. According to the Associated Press' most recent news reports, Jeffrey Dahmer picked him from the bar, brought him home, drugged him, and mutilated his only preserved his skull. Tony Hughes and Jeffrey Dahmer met in a Milwaukee homosexual bar for the first time in May 1991. Dahmer has a reputation for seducing his victims with the promise of s asterisk x and sexual favors. Hughes agreed to drive Dahmer home. Persp Dahmer poisoned him once he was inside before strangling him to death. Tony's body was allegedly dissolved with acid, leaving only his head. He was Jeffrey's twelfth victim. Tony's mother found out about his passing at the beginning of July. Dental records helped identify him immediately. When it happened, his mother Shirley Hughes said to the Associated Press in 1992, I thought I was going nuts. In another interview, she claimed, I only begged and pleaded with the Lord to reveal my son's location. I merely wanted to know whether he was alive or not. It hurts the way he passed away. It is beyond description. Persp According to the boy's mother, who spoke to the AP, her son started a new job two weeks earlier but never got his first salary and that she was unable to call the friend as she only knew a first name, Jeffrey. Jeffrey was given 15 consecutive life terms in 1992 for the murders of Tony and 14 other individuals when he eventually acknowledged killing Tony, according to history. Jeffrey killed a total of 17 men and teenagers between 1978 and 1991. The sixth episode of Monster, The Jeffrey Dahmer Story reveals the truth of Tony Hughes' death. It's not entirely clear how much of the episode is based on reality and how much has been fabricated, but the show describes how the two first got attracted to one another and even has Jeffrey visiting some of Hughes' picture sessions. The episode in the series has very few details about Tony's murder by Jeffrey Dahmer. The Associated Press reported that Jeffrey Dahmer scooped up his deaf victim, took him inside, lulled him to sleep, and then dissected him while retaining the skull. According to FBI records, Hughes, 31, had not been seen since acquaintances last saw him at the 219 Club on May 24. Hughes went missing on May 31, 1991. Two months later, in July 1991, his remains, including his skull and vertebrae, were discovered in Dahmer's apartment among those of countless other victims. What happened to the family of Tom Hughes? She added that Tony was visiting family in Milwaukee at the time of his murder and intended to spend the night there. In addition, like the families of Jeffrey's other victims, Shirley was unable to comprehend the brutal manner in which her son died. 
The truth inevitably devastated her as she desperately looked for him after he vanished. One of the therapists said that although Shirley first appeared to be destroyed entirely, she battled valiantly, picked up the pieces, and found comfort in religion. In addition, the grieving mother dedicated her life to assisting others so that no one else would have to endure a similar tragedy. Not much is known about Tony's family, except his mom. As of now, his mom, Shirley, prefers to live a quiet life and has embraced privacy.